we'll go over class detection. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare an architectural model that has certain structural components. We're going to compare the architectural model to an MEP model, mechanical engineering and plumbing. And we're going to use a model that's coming from previous tutorials that you can find on this channel. Okay, so going right in, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you actually have an MVP model to clash to run clash detection against an architectural model, or you want to run an MEP model clash detection against a structural model. And the way you go about doing this is you go up to manage, you go over to manage links, and you want to make sure that you actually have two uh, two models that you can compare. Right now, as you see at the top, I have my MEP tutorial model loaded in. So if you have a structure, if you're in your structural model, you may want to load your architectural model or your MEP model because you will be comparing two models, and that's how the class detection works. It's seeing the interferences between the architectural model and the MEP model. Okay. So now, right now, in the model that you see in front of you, the architectural, uh, the Revit model, you see MEP structure and architecture. So the way you run class detection in Revit, and you don't want to use Navisworks, is you go up to Collaborate, the, the tab here, and then you go over to the right, and you click Interference Check, and run Interference. Okay, so you have two categories, categories from, and ca your categories from, two categories. Your current project is the model you're in now, and I want to compare it to my MEP model. And I'll click all of the options, air terminals, cable trays, fittings, cable trays, conduit fittings, conduit, duct, duct, flex duct, mechanical equipment. Over here in my architectural model, I want to make sure that I click all of the entities that I need or that I know is important to class detection. I'll click everything. Ramps, we don't really need ramps or rails. But for now, let's click everything. OK. So then we're going to click OK. And now it's computing. Okay, so what you see in front of you is you have the interference report. You have air terminals, ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Now these ceilings, from the looks of it, is referring to the drop ceiling. So I'm going to click on this, and if you double click on this, what you'll see is that the drop ceiling is highlighted. Essentially what it's telling me is that the drop ceiling is being sort of uh, penetrated by uh, ductwork. So here, air terminal, supply diffuser, the, the, the supply diffuser is sitting on the duct, which is fine. Okay, let's go down to a wall. I'm going to double click on the wall and move this out the way. Okay, now this wall, what it's showing, it's walls, MEP, duct, radius. Okay, this MEP master, this is the model, and the architectural, okay, the architectural component is the wall, the basic wall, and it's interfering with the ductwork, and that's what you can see here. Now let's zoom in further, and what it's showing you is that the wall is highlighted in yellow or orange, and the ductwork is in blue. Let's do one more, and then uh, one more wall, and then a tray, and then we're done. Okay, I wanted to click on the wall, and it breaks down exactly what's being uh, interfered with. Where's the clash? And the clash is here. The ductwork is blue, and the wall that it's clashing against is the orange yellow. Okay, let's go to the electrical component, which would be one of our trays. Let's look for it. Duct, conduit, tray, cable tray. Okay, all right. Now, if you can see what's taking place is this is our tray. Our tray is here, and it's being highlighted in blue, and it's being interrupted by the wall. We have to create a hole in the wall. And then also, conduit. Let's look at conduit, and then we're done. Conduit, duct. Let's look at this really quickly. OK. Cable trays, conduits. Conduit here. Now, my conduit is actually these conduits here, these pipes that will contain data. Let's click here and you can see that right now it's difficult to see but it's showing you that at this wall you have the wall and then the conduit that it's interrupting is here. I'll rotate this view so you can see exactly what's going on. Now you see the conduit is highlighted in blue here and the wall is in yellow. 
I'll do that one more time so you can see and then we're done. There you go. Conduit here, interference here. Also, really quickly I'll show you that you can export this report to uh, I'm calling it a MEP tutorial STEM. STEM is Science, Techno Technology, Engineering, and Math. I'll save that, overwrite the existing one, and then I'll open that up. Right click, open. Okay, and what you have is a breakdown of all of the interferences. And you can pretty much just go through here, export this into Excel if you don't want to bring it into Navisworks or the BIM 360. Uh, supplied uh, was a collaboration environment where you can actually do uh, class detection in the cloud. This concludes the tutorial on class detection using Revit.